Hiya. I've had these combs. They're like Afro combs. This is the bag they came in and I've bought two. I've had these a while. But I haven't got round to showing you how to use these yet. Basically, they're really good for making a double tux bow or a basic tux bow. Now, I want to join these together, but because of the rounded edge, they don't go together flat. When you tape them, they kind of rock a little bit. So I've used my scissors and I've actually trimmed a little bit of the rounded edge off. So that is what I'm going to do for both these inner corners. So on this corner, I've got my lovely sharp scissors. And I'm just gonna carefully cut that plastic straight. So now these should join together and they shouldn't rock too much once we tape them. And also that brings these this gap here closer together. So I've taken my black tape, I'm going to start across this middle. And I'm just gonna continue wrapping this tape around several times. now together quite stiffly I can hold it with one handle and they're nice and straight so once they're together all together across they measure 13 and a half centimeters or almost five and a half inches so that just gives you an idea of how wide a bow you can make now obviously the wider the bow the wider the ribbon you'll need so height wise you could use up to a three inch wide ribbon or 75 millimeter wide ribbon. That would come slightly over the edge, but that'd be doable. You could work with that slightly overlapping and then you could make a nice wider bow. So that just gives you a rough idea of the size. So to make a bow using your new little tool, taking some four centimeter wide ribbon or one and a half inch wide, I'm not going to cut a certain length off, I'm just going to take my whole little roll here. I've heat sealed this end already. I'm going to pick up my little bow making tool. I'm laying it underneath. This is going to be the centre of my bow. So I've slightly overlapped the centre. So I've laid it slightly overlapping the centre. And then I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six spokes. And I'm going to tuck that in there. So for this half of the bow, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So for the opposite side, we need to count another six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll keep my finger there. Bring this over the top. Tuck it between the six and the seven spokes. So I've got six in the middle. So all together we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve spokes on the inside all together. I'm keeping my finger there to hold this little piece overlap in the middle. And then for my under loops, I'm going to go round the next spoke, which is the seventh one from the middle. So to do that, I'm going to tuck it in between the six and the seventh and then wrap it around that seventh. So it looks like that. So it comes in between where the sixth one is over the seventh and then you bring it round. And then I'm going to take my finger off that piece there and bring it on the top there instead. And then I'm going to bring this piece over and do the same on the opposite side. So in between the sixth and the seventh and around that seventh spoke and then bring that down and then round to the centre. Again, I'm going to remove my finger, place it on the top and then we're going to stitch six stitches through this middle. 
So we're going to go in for one. Two. Three. through that last end for six so it looks like that so we've gone in one two three four five back out for six and then I'm just going to hold that needle while I slide that off there and then you can set your tool aside and then flipping that bow over we can cut off this excess ribbon So I'm going to just bend that over and trim off close to that stitch line and heat seal that raw edge. And now we can pull in our pinch. going to seal it off on the underside by going in once and then on this next one I'm going to go in through that loop a couple of times to form a knot and then you can trim off that excess cotton and then as you can see that's giving you a lovely double layered tucks and that's all nice and even and that was very simple to make I'm just going to trim off these little extra strands of cotton that we've got sticking out there and then we can add a clip so I've already pre-lined a clip in matching ribbon I'm going to stick that on the underside of my bow and then I've got another piece of 10 millimeter or one centimeter wide to wrap around the center And then just trim off any excess heat seal. And there you have your little bow. Now I'm going to add some little pom-poms to mine also, just to show you how you can jazz these little plain bows up. So I've got this little pom-pom trim. You can buy these in all different colours and reels from AliExpress or you can get them from suppliers as well. You can get these from suppliers if you don't want to wait for postage. And I'm just going to measure that up to my bottom loop. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little pom-poms wide. And I'm just going to heat seal off those ends. And then I'm going to glue that on the underside of my bottom loops. So where you've got like, I'll show you the bottom side. So this is the bottom and this will be the top where the pom-poms are more prominent. I'm going to glue along this top side, along this edge, just very carefully. 
and then I'm just going to place that along my bottom loops. And then I'm going to repeat the same with the other side. You have your finished hair bow with a little pom-pom trim using that afro comb as a little bow making tool. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you've got any questions pop them into the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching. Bye -bye.